All right, so let's just continue, everyone. And thank you so much uh, for waiting. By the way, um, in this uh, session right now, we'll begin to continue with the circular queue already, the implementation of the circular queue and uh, the other types of queues right now. So in this particular um, video, um, recording, I mean, for our circular queue, um, it will be different method uh, <laughs> aside from our aside from our um simple queue since our simple queue that is dynamic which we are not using the zero index we actually um use that from zero to nth index now in our particular circular queue it is a circular um base something like that it's like a circular link list um also um now here, for example, if I actually implement here a maximum size of three, for example, the maximum size is three. And of course, we want to insert the specific element one, two, three, something like that. So we will be going to do that in our operation right now. So so um, since we only implement three um, element, so that means we will only just um, work for three um for a three container so now we have a three container here which we will begin to um initialize first the front and rear as the same as s as negative one both since that only signifies that there is no value yet being implemented into your array uh, into your circular queue so since circular queue still follows the first in first out uh first out principle which we can insert at the front i mean rear end and we can also delete at the front end so for example this will be our front um zero one and our two for example like that that will be our structure so if we will begin to insert the number one in our um circular queue so we will draw that um step by step so say for example here then um something like that we have here Number one will be inserted right now. So that will become um the front end will become zero and your rear end will become zero. Still uh the same since that is located in our zero index. Okay. Now if you will begin to insert the number two um the next step, so the same implementation, you will insert that as is. So say, for example, we have here um, now the number one, we actually insert that here and number two. All right. Now we will define the front and rear the same thing as this um, in every location. Please be mindful if you are wrong with regards to the location itself. Um, you are certainly you will not consider um, that one. For the front end, uh, our one is our front. So that is located in the index one, zero. And our two is that is located in the index one. So that's how it uh, works in our circular queue. Now, in our three, when we enqueue the number three, so the same as is, the same implementation uh, that you will begin to apply. So now you will enqueue number three. So the same. All right. Now, um, the front end will become zero and your rear end will become number two right now. Okay, that's how it works. Now, sir, so what if, if I will begin to enqueue number four right now? So since due to the fact that we implement number, uh, a maximum size of three, then our um, queue right now do have the queue size or queue um, size of three right now. So we cannot therefore perform any operations. We cannot insert for that one. So now if you want to de uh, delete uh, right now, one time, for example, so we will begin to delete at the front end since uh, that will be in the FIFO principle. So in our deletion, um, it will be going to be like this. So the number element number one will be the, uh, the element that will be removed into your, um, into your queue. So we remove the number one since that will be the front. And of course, you still increment the front and rear index location. 
So the front uh, right now, since the zero index is being removed, so that means number one is our current um, front right now. And our current rear will be the same as is the number two then. And now, um, let's move on. If I will be going to um, in queue number four right now, we will begin to insert the number four. So therefore, we can now insert that element in our particular um, queue. So we can insert that. Um, okay, the same, follow the method. Number two here and number three here. And number four, you will insert that right now. You still reuse the container since that is circular queues, which means the last element or the last container is connected into the first container. That is how um circular queue looks like. Now, in our front end, that will become one, the same thing. It will not go back into the um number zero into the index zero no it's still increment you will still increment that much what i mean is you still continue the process um keep on going all around um as long as you um follow the steps now for the re rear end regarding on that it will become the zero index so that's how it works then now if you will be going to remove that uh the queue second time, for example, right now. So that means the front end will you will remove the front end. So which is you will remove number two. Your front end will become the number three. So that will become number um two, index number two, and your current rear uh will become the. Your front end will become number two, and your current end will become zero. That's that's right. So. Afterwards, if you will insert number five, the same as this, insert here in the location of the number two, and uh, the location, the same as this, uh, that your front will become number two index and number one index for the rear. So that's how it works, class. It's still repeating and repeating um, using those um, index location. That's how it works in a circular queue. So if you do have uh, any clarifications for that one, just kindly message me through MS Team. And for, of course, please do study regarding with the circular queue because some of you was not able to um, answer correctly during the quizzes. So I actually made some consideration um, in that one. That's why right now I've made a really um, a video in that way you will be refreshed um, with our topic because I don't want that you will be going to just ask into your classmate and your classmate still also don't know how to discuss that to you that's why i i really made some effort for um for the sake of everybody now circular queue um we're done with that so let's move on with the next operation with uh with the next type which will be the next type will be the priority queue so in, in our priority queue we do have the um types of that which uh we do have the category which is the first category will be the um, ascending priority queue, and the second one is the descending priority queue. Now then, let's um, focus the ascending priority queue right now. So you know we're ascending priority queue right now. So for example, um, we are implementing um, the same method, uh, still five or principle, but of course there 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 will be a different um thing will hap will happen right now. So the first way and the second way um as what i've actually discussed that last meeting that the first way we can insert um, let me uh, picture that out for example class we want to insert three um seven and number one for example like that so we have that kind of element now the first method um, the first way of implementation of ascending order and descending order priority queue will be you can insert following the FIFO principle. Then for descend uh, for the removing of that, you can definitely base on the priority order. So that means, for example, if you want to insert number three, you can insert number three. If you want to insert to number seven, you can insert directly number seven. If you want to insert number one, that's still the same as this. So that's how you follow the the FIFO principle. So that means you still um, just insert that at the rear end. Now, when you, as, uh, in the ascending order, priority, 
particle. Um, when you remove that one, you will matter, you will compare each element. If those um, element um, since ascending order from the lowest value up until the highest, largest value, right? So that means is three is less uh, is our le uh, lesser number here. Uh, you will compare to all of the elements. So three is is it less than to seven? Uh, yes, less than um and less than to seven is three less than to one since greater than so that means one will be the priority queue that you will be going to remove so that means when you will be going to follow that um simple step uh, the, uh that step um the number one step the number one method um it will really takes a lot of time for inserting you will follow the fifo principle so it will take time and for deletion it will matter with the um priority cases it could be the it could be the ascending or descending order order so that is really taking a lot of time so if you can really picture that out class it will take you a lot of time so ma maano ka pa masala ka isa sala ka na tanan di ba am i right now for the second um the second implementation or i mean the second operations that we can really apply here will be the uh, the 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 good method that we can implement in our um ascending and descending priority queue which we can insert and directly um and directly sort that in a specific um insert this insert element and automatically automatically sort sort the element based on the so sorry element based on the priority and the priority and for deletion you will just follow um follow the five book principle so that means we can oh uh, we can remove at the front end so now let's try to picture that out how how does it work here then so um when you insert number three the same you insert number three and the second when you insert number th uh, seven so see is three is less than to seven yes of course so that uh, that will be the structure then of course excuse me and number one when you insert number one you have to compare that so uh, sorry that one one is less than to three therefore one will be in the, the front index so that's how it works in our um, priority queue. So now, class, um, that's for the process only, the ways that we are going to, uh, that we can follow in our priority queue. So, but um, of course, it's what I mentioned to you that you, we can only, um, we can use the, uh, we can certainly apply the second method. So remember that, the second method will insert element and automatically sort the element. Now, for our um, priority cases, uh, maximum size here, for example, is a three. The same. So you implement that initialize. Um, you initialize the the um, Q. So front and rear will be negative one both right so negative one since signifies as no value as of now now we will begin to insert those element then so let uh, me um do that step by step so three um since there is no value yet so we can insert that at zero index both front and rear will become zero as is right now and for inserting number seven the same you will insert that one compare three is less than to seven um no that's lar uh, largest element so three to seven that means that will be the structures right now and front end will become zero and your rear end will become um will become one so that how it works now in our priority queue, we want to insert number one also since we're following this um principle so we can uh when you automatically sort that one, number one is lesser than three. So therefore, number one will be the front end. One, then three, and seven. 
Now, if we want to decure one time and afterwards, after we decure, we certainly add a number four, we can implement that one. But if you will be going to add number four right now without decuing first, it will not be going to, uh, we cannot do the insertion due to the fact that your Q size is not, uh, is actually already equals to the maximum size. So therefore, we cannot operate any insertions at the moment. Now, in our insertion class, uh, in our deletion, I mean, so since you want to delete um, right now one time, so that means number three will be, uh, number one will be deleted and number seven, um, three and seven will be the remaining elements into your current array right now. So remember as always class that all of those remaining, um, remaining um, front and rear will be going to, um proceed to the zero index of course um that would be correct as well if you will also implement i'm sorry i forgot here um for the front and rear that will become zero two the front is zero and rear will be two now in our front and rear here for a three seven you can somewhat do zero for the front and one for the rear or if you answer one for the front and two for the front, that's still correct. Since um, in our priority queue, it's, uh, it, can, my, uh, it might allow also simple queue implementation. That will be also um, the case here. But of course, um, we will just follow or just focus if you will be going to, uh, it depends on your class, if you will follow the circular, uh, the, I mean, not circular, the simple queue um, algorithm, for example, you can do that. So you can follow this simple, that's fine. Not There's nothing to worry about then. That's still correct. But if you will follow this one, the, the one that I've actually stated or mentioned to you last time, that's still correct then. That's um correct. Now, we want to insert number four. Since we already dequeued one time, so we want to insert number four. Three is, uh, four is greater than three, so therefore three is still at the first end. And then four, and then seven, since four is less than to seven. So that's how it looks like in our priority queue right now. So the front end, um, if you will matter that into the this one, it will become zero two. And if you will matter that with a circ uh, with a simple Q uh, simple Q algorithm, it will become one and three. So that how, uh, that's how it looks like, the same thing. But of course, class, it depends on you if you will be going to follow the simple um, uh, queue location, uh, locating the index location. So that will be all right um, as well. Um, if you will be going to use the zero index for the removing, that's still fine for me. Okay, now, anyway, that's how it looks like in our ascending priority queue that uh, always remember that you will be going to implement or follow these cases. Now that is for the ascending priority queue. So that means we will be going to delete, prioritize to delete those um, lesser value than uh, before the largest value. So that's how it works in our ascending priority queue. So that's the end of our prior, um, ascending priority queue. Let's move on to the last priority, which will be the descending priority queue. So for descending priority queue, it, it is still the same as S for this ascending priority queue. But of course, our um, goal here, we will be going to remove first. Um, we can remove first. The priority will be based into the largest element before the lowest value. So for example, here we have the maximum size of three, for example. Maximum size is three, and we want to insert this one. Four, um, seven, and the number um, 10, for example. So we want to insert that one. So in our first um, stage, don't forget, um, initialize from will become negative one both. <coughs> Excuse me. And then uh, we will insert number four right now. So insert number four, uh, it will become here uh, since there is no value yet. So we can insert 
front will become zero and rear will become zero as, as, as is. That's correct. Now, if you want to insert, we are done with that. We will insert number seven already. So um, is seven is large um, highest value than four or largest value than four. So that is um, greater than, I mean, uh, subtracted. So that means you will swap that seven, four, and that's the thing. It will happen. So seven, four, and front end will become zero, and rear end will become one. So that's how it works. Okay. Now, once you insert number 10 right now, it will be going through. Um, you will also um, be going to compare because we are doing the comparable elements here. Compare uh, Comparison in each um, in each in each iteration. So does 10 is greater than to seven? Yes, of course. Therefore, 10 will be prioritized here. So 10, then seven and four. So that's how it looks like. So regarding with the front end and rear point, um, the same as this, since it will become zero and it will become number two. Now, if you will be going to return the peak element or the peak element as right now, the peak element just remember that that only returns the front end. So the peak element right now is the number 10. So that's basic. Now for our, um, if you want to dequeue another one time here, um, for example, then afterwards we want to insert number 25, um, for example. So we will begin to insert that later on. So let's try to see. Now, we can um, here, we, uh, if you will go first, by the way, if you will insert first number 25, we cannot insert due to the fact that your queue size is equals already to the maximum queue. So therefore, you cannot insert any operations or right now, perform any operations as, or as right now, I mean. Now, um, if you want to dequeue first, um, so since we are prioritizing, um, remove deletion with the FIFO, since that's already sorted, so remove 10. So <laughs> the, uh, the element right now, here will be seven and four. So seven and four. So the front end, if you will follow the um this one, that's fine. Zero and one for the front and rear is one. But if you will follow the simple Q um location, that will become one and that will become two. Front will become one. Now, if you want to insert number 25 class, um, you will insert that the same as this. So of course. Um, insert 25, compare. 25 is actually greater than to the 7. So we can insert, then bring 7 and bring 4. Now, um, we're actually having full um, Q rate now. Front will become 0 and rear will become 2. So be mindful, much better to follow this one because it will be easy because if you will be going to follow right now, um, the simple. So of course, uh, it will go back into the zero since you occupied the zero and rear will become um, two, the same as is. But of course, much better you will focus into this kind of, um, once you delete, it will go back into the zero index and use the same assets. So that's how it works in our ascending and descending order. If you do have any question, Pess, you can drop any message into our MS team. And in the next video, I'll be going to also illustrate to you the um, another data structures, which is the last queue, where, um, last type of queue, which is the input and output restricted double-ended queue. So that will be more complex. So let me end this video right now and of course um send it to you and of course please study and be mindful with the location of course All right thank you so much okay let me